Hello friends, let us learn the word problems in arithmetic progression. So let us see few solved examples. The first example is a man repays a loan of rupees 3250. Now the man repays means the total amount along with the interest he is paying 3250. So our end figure, final figure is SN is 3250 rupees. Next, a man repays a loan of rupees 3250 by paying rupees 305 in the first month. So our first term will be 305. So A is equal to 305 rupees. What they say further? By paying rupees 305 in the first month, and then decreases the payment by 15 rupees per month. Decreases the payment by 15 rupees per month. Means what will be the difference? The difference D will be minus 15 because it is decreasing by 15 rupees per month. Okay. So our D will be minus 15. What they ask? How long will it take to clear his loan? how long he will take to clear his loan means how many installments are to be paid that means we have to find out the nth term the what is the nth term number we have to find out we have to find out n very simple we have to just substitute these figures in the formula of sn now what is the formula of our sn is sn is equal to n upon 2 2a plus n minus 1 d our sn is n upon 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d so now let us substitute these figures in this formula so we have 3 to 5 0 is equal to n upon 2 multiply by 305 into 2 that is 2 into 305 plus n minus 1 into minus 15. When we solve this equation we will get the value of n. Let us simplify it further. 3 to 5 0 is equal to n upon 2. This is 610 here minus 15n plus 15 right so these two will go this side and this will become 600 this two will go to this side and this will become 6500 is equal to 610 plus 15 is 625 minus 15 n and whole is multiplied by n solve it further 6500 is equal to 625n minus 15n square. So now we have got the quadratic equation of degree 2. So let us simplify this quadratic equation further and we will get 15n square minus 625n plus 6 is equal to 0. This we can further simplify by dividing by 5. So, we get 3n square minus 125n plus. So, you have to solve this quadratic equation and you will get the value of n. So, please pause your video here and solve this quadratic equation to get the value of n. 3n square minus 16n minus 65n plus 1300 equal to 0. These are the factors. What is the common here? 3n is common. So 3n n minus 20 minus 65 is here n minus 
20 equal to 0. Now n minus 20 is common. So we have 3n minus 65 or n minus 20 equal to 0. And ultimately, so either this bracket will be 0 or this bracket will be 0. So we will get 3n minus 65 equal to 0 or n minus 20 equal to 0. So here n will be 65 by 3 or n will be 20. Let us solve it here. Can you see that this if you divide 65 by if you divide 65 by 3 the n comes in fraction and number of days cannot be in fractions. So our answer is n is equal to 20. So you have to write n is equal to 20 months. So he will total pay 20 installments. The first installment will be of 315 rupees, 305 rupees. The first installment will be 305 rupees and till 20 installments he will pay. Let us see one more example. Second example we will see. The example is a farmer borrows rupees 1000 and agrees to repay with the total interest of 140 rupees. He borrowed 1000 rupees and he agrees to pay total interest of 140 rupees. That means what is the ma final amount he is going to pay? What is the total amount he is going to pay? That will be our SN. SN will be 1000 plus 140 as an interest. So this will be 1140 rupees he will repay. Okay. Let us see further. A farmer borrows rupees 1000 and agrees to repay with a total interest of rupees 140 in 12 installments. They say 12 installments mean n equal to 12. Each installment being less than the preceding installment by rupees 10. Each installment will be less than 10 rupees than previous installment. So your d here will be minus 10. What is there asked? What should be his first installment? That means here we have to find out what is equal to a. What is the formula for sn? sn is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So when you substitute whatever you have in this formula, you will get the value of a because only a is unknown here. So let us substitute here. So 1140 is equal to 12 by 2, 2a plus 12 minus 1 into minus 10. Let us simplify it further. 1140 is equal to 6 into 2a. 12 minus 1 is 11. 11 into 10, 110 minus 110. Now we will divide 1140 by 6. So here we will get 190 is equal to 2a minus 110. So 2a is equal to 190 plus 110. So here our a will be equal to 300 upon 2. That is a will be equal to 150. They asked what is the first installment and the installment is in rupees. So you have to write 150 rupees and your final answer will be the first installment is equal to 150 rupees. Okay. So these are the types of the word problem which may be asked in the exam on the chapter arithmetic progression. Examples are very simple. Do you have, we have only two formulas. One is for Tn, one is for Sn. Okay. From the given things, we have to first write what we know and then from that we have to substitute the formula and find out the missing value. It's very simple. Okay. So now let us move to exercise 1.6. Thank you. So friends, we have learned this topic thoroughly. We have solved some 
examples for practice. But we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set, then the hearts, some paper solutions, everything we are going to solve. For further solution of exercises and problem set, please purchase our DVD. You can buy our DVD online by visiting our websites. The address for the websites or the place where you can buy your DVDs are given just below this video in the description. Thank you very much.